Work starts at quarter to seven. I rock up to the depot and get the tools for the day. The oars for the boat. The work we do depends on the season. Basically, we protect the parkland from effects of weeds and people. We do path maintenance, we pick up rubbish in the dunes and reserves. But now it's summer and we're doing a lot of hand weeding and spraying. Yeah, Colin, we're playing West Coast this weekend up in Darwin. That's right. right, so where's this typhoon we've got to cut? Because of the bush, you can't see where you're cutting, so you have to walk it through before you cut it and clear the dangerous stuff. It's terrible how much rubbish I find. Syringes, glass, bottles, and the rubbish from the drains that go into our lakes. In the field, we've got three or four other full-time people who I work with. Is this a safety gear tip? You have to look at the job and work out what equipment you will need. is anything not endemic to an area which would take over the native vegetation. If we can deal with the weeds, the vegetation will come back. If we let weeds grow, they will just take over and we will lose the bushland. Then feral animals would come in and start taking out the wildlife. Oh no. Russ, come and have a look at this, mate. What have you got there, Laura? Uh, Jack Pepper. Then there are the really yeah. bad ones, the declared Clear weeds. Weed which are a really big deal because we have to report them when we see them and do everything we can to get rid of them. You're going to have to chop him out now before he sets seed. Yep, no worries. Two stroke. Personal safety gear. We operate some dangerous machinery, brush cutters with big star blades on them and chainsaws mainly, so safety is important. That's all ready to go? Yeah, mate. Everyone got their earplugs? Just grab the uh, poison for your tiff. Right, get me. Let's go and get this gas pepper. Laura, can you pull this out for me, please? Straight out of school, I completed certificate one in land management then a six-month Green Corps traineeship. I loved it so much that I did a Diploma of Environmental Science at TAFE, then a term of uni before I got this job. Volunteer work is vital to get a start in this industry. It's the first thing employers look for. People who do this have a passion for plants and nature and aren't afraid of hard work. Hey, Tiff. Yeah. Do you know what this is? Oh yeah, that one's Fleabane. Yeah? Yeah, it is a weed. One of the great things about my job is how much there is to know. You can get some plant names from a book, but you learn heaps more from others on the job. Then you travel 20 k's down the road and all the plants are different. You never stop learning on this job. In the near future, I want to move to a new area and learn some different plants and maybe become a supervisor. One day, I'd like to have my own business consulting about native plants. Planting is my favourite work because it's putting something back instead of destroying things. We plant areas to supplement the natural vegetation, not to replace it. We're giving nature a kick start. Every now and again, it's great to come back to a site we planted a couple of years back and see it's all come back over time. This is what I love about this job. I planted this one only three years ago. 